Maybe they up to. Do you you want to talk about that? You can. I'm Big B. I brick. I got my cast of usual suspects here with brick stackers. Where? Otherwise known as Doc. In yep. case you get confused, you're a first time viewer. And this is Bricker Treat, sometimes called Bot. Kaiser Sose. And I'm Big B. Um, today's topic is clearance sets. Part them out or hold them for resale. Um, and this topic isn't like a concrete one, but it's something that you know you should think about because you're getting it cheap, and every single person out there is parting it out right now. And those parts that you may believe are unique or figs that you may believe is unique because it's already taken the dive. It's on clearance. It's already gone, and it's hitting the bottom of its bell curve. Um, everybody's going to have them. So, Brick Stackers said he could add a little bit to this. This was actually Willett's suggestion as a topic, but he is uh, stuck on the side of the road. So, but I'm sure he'll be joining us next week. Is he stuck, like, broke down, or he... I, he, I don't, I'm not sure. He just said, uh, sorry, I apologize, I'm missing it. I'm stuck on the side of the road. Huh. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, he'll be all right. He's a grown-ass man. <laughs> good deal. He's a, he's a cowboy. He's fully capable. I believe he used to break horses. That's true. All right, so you wanted to touch on this a little bit. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, I just... I know he brought it up in the chat with us, and um, I have a lot of people... Actual private message me, and then they asked me my opinion of, hey, I found this set for you know ten dollars or five dollars or whatever it is. Uh, what do you? What is your opinion? What should I do? Should I part it out or should I hold on to it long term? And sometimes it's multiples of set. It might not be just one. Uh, I know there's two different views we can go about looking at this. We can look at it as uh, it's only one or what two. Do I need to waste my time parting it out and? Will it actually impact my store at all? Or is the fact of maybe there's a good fig in it, and uh, or a couple of good figs in it, and maybe the nice rare part or fig will actually be worth the part out of it. You know, first thing I'll do is look at the part out of a, um, if it hits my threshold, uh, it's, it's check mark user for go ahead and parting it out. Uh, you know, I've got a lot of stuff in my private stash that, is intended to be parted out, or there might be two to eight sets of, the, of what I'm talking about, uh, but it has sat for so long, for three years, or two and a half years now, and the value is slowly creeping up on eBay where I could sell it sealed for more than what it parts out for, um, which is the way Lego works. Uh, you know, it usually takes about three to five years to get a, a decent return at two to three times your money, at least two to two times your money. Um, but the way I look at it is, uh, if it's one set, and I have to take my time into consideration of how many hours am I going to spend sorting, parting of that, listing it, and putting it away in the drawers, um, that's a big part of decision. Uh, but if it's one set that's 600 pieces and has a lot of really good lots that would add, you know, variety to my store, I might do it. And it's more important, I guess, as a smaller store. Let's say you have 400 lots in your store, uh, and then you can part out an a, a independent one or two set right here that you got sitting on the floor you found on the shelf. It might add another 100 unique lots to your store. And early on, I did a lot of that. Uh, early on, it was a good way to build up your variety. But uh, generally speaking, for me, though, now I'm at 410,000 roughly uh, as far as my store volume and getting close to 6,000 lots in my store, I started putting those sets to the side, listing them on the Brooklyn store as sealed, uh, and just letting them sit and age, and that's what I started doing it. Now, if I got more than two, I'll more than likely part it out if, if the value is on eBay is not more than what I can get for parting it out. Uh, that's kind of what I do. I mean, and it all depends on the theme. I mean, if it's a Batman set, a uh, Hobbit set, something that I know historically has appreciated very well, I'll, I'll keep it sealed. 
I know Bot has uh, texted me a few times on a couple of sets asking opinions, and there are current ones on the shelf now where he might find one on clearance and ask me, what would you do? And, you know, looking behind him when he has 8 to 10 to 12 of these other sets, I would set the one aside, let it age, and then work on some of that other stuff that I had 8 to 10 of. That's typically what I do. Yeah. So uh, you and I do a lot of onesie purchases where we're really not able to get... I mean, we do the, the larger part outs, but we also grab the random stuff when we see it. Yeah. Um, and, I've been doing a lot more of that lately. Right, but historically, though, those ones that actually you should sit on to sell are those ones that have a little bit of uh, character to them. You know, like, like you were saying, like you mentioned Batman and, um, you know, a theme set, Star Wars, something like that. Sit on them. Um, for the most part, if it's, though, if it's a Lego theme that didn't catch on, not necessarily one to sit on. Like, uh, people in the comments are mentioning Chima. You know, half is a joke, half serious, because it's cheap, but it's uber colorful. And but also, I don't, you also I don't, I don't, I don't see the return of Chima as a sealed set yeah. as being something good. Oh, I've, I've never or, or happening. Well, yeah, the, the, problem, go ahead. The, the problem with Chima is also they had a television show that, you know, was a marketing tool for that, right? Right, I think Lego has that every single time they have a theme that is internal to them, you know, and and Star Wars. Right, so kids aren't going to know about it as long as the show's not on anymore, right? So you're right. If I mean, if Cartoon Network ain't going to carry it, it's dead. Right, so you're sitting on a dead product, really. So you should just try to be parting out all that all that you can, really. I guess, except for those god awful big parts. I mean, I've got yeah. two shelves of I got to do something with, you know. Well, that's what yeah. I was saying. Uh, I another viewer cool. brings up another uh, another line which may fall into the same category once it ends, which is elves, because it's got a TV show, but is it going to resell outside of the dragons? Yeah. Uh, the tree parts. <laughs> I was gonna give a yeah. shout out real quick. Uh, let me run down who's all in the uh, who's watching. We've got a lot of folks participating in the chat. I'm gonna miss. If I miss somebody, I apologize. Uh, I think they're still active in here. We got Top Box. We got Zany. Uh, Pumpkin Bricks is here. Um, Mr. Bones. Rick Quest. The Lego Master eight eight nine. Uh, who's your Bricks is here. Robert Burns is. Tell us a little bit about his store. Lego Basketball Salvage is fixing to get kicked out. And I think it's just a newbie and uh, might actually be looking for real feedback on his video. Oh, no. I just saw poop. What's up? Yeah, just... no, no, no. I think it's actual. I think it's an actual person that's trying oh. to be funny and okay. like make an, make an introduction type thing. Oh, okay. yeah. The Brick Maniac. Yeah. And... I think it's an adult. Adam Quan, good job. All right, so if it, uh, even if it's not an adult, like it's still good to go. Like we're pretty kid friendly. We're not kid friendly, but I mean we're not kid friendly. But he's so kid, kid friendly, he rides around with puppies in his van. Yeah, <laughs> in his white van. Um, and I got this last one here. It's the brick mania, <laughs> as in tradition. <laughs> <laughs> and Adam Clump. And just another brick life. So I want to thank everybody for joining. Uh, really, really glad you guys could make it. And, uh, you know, it's nice to have a discussion with other people uh, about what's going on and also get your guys' opinion of what you do. Um, and on this show, if you have an opinion in the chat, you may be asked to come on and be a guest to discuss it live as well, uh, if you are willing. Um, but I guess I'll touch on the elves a little bit because I think I might have more experience with elves sets than you guys do. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really sit on most of the sets. Um, a few of them, yes, because they're just cool for everybody. But I wouldn't think that if I found the ones that are on clearance right now at the store, 
would be good to sit on? I, I don't think that would sit on either. My, my personally, I don't sit on friends and I don't sit on L's. I just bought my first L set. It was the Pegasus one that I found for what nine dollars? Uh, that's the first yeah. ever friends set I bought. And that's so, a great, great set. Yeah. You know, to get those two flying two flying horses are going to sell no matter where they are. Sure. Come on, if they're two flying horses, um, and they may even sell outside of. They might they might sell to somebody else as in a sealed set. Where um, I see the value of elves is more so in the rare, unique colors you're getting in these elements that if, whether it's success or failure, and they end the line in two years or whatever, you, we might go another seven to ten years before we see these parts again. And I think you'll end up selling those parts for more money long term than you would sell in a sealed set with the yeah. elves label on it. Yeah. Unless it's got, like like we said, the, the, the creature box. A creature box might be one to sit on. But Elves does have a good range of colors, I think. Um, ties in well with the existing Friends line that it's associated with, but also blends in well with the other fantasy worlds. You know, It's not too far out, and I think most people can see it fitting in. Robert is asking, we got a couple of questions, so whenever you get through with the Elves, let me know. We'll address Robert and if you get him. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I wanted to, I wanted to actually pair Elves um, parting out elves versus actually going out and seeking Chima at this day and age um, and parting that out. I don't see much Chima anymore. I don't have a my toy. Toys are, my Toys R Us still has some. Well, man, I don't have a Toys R Us locally, but... My Toys R Us still has some blue box and a bunch of orange box. So. Yeah, but I mean, they're, they're going to be selling it for God knows what for two or three more years, you know? Yep. I wouldn't. Like I was talking about in Hauling and Bowling, some of the stores are <laughs> like getting old stock back in, man. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that, is, that is a little ridiculous when they do put it back on the shelves um, for the original price when they just finished clearancing it. Um, sometimes it's just a remark in the field that was not put in there to say that, uh, you know, that, hey, like with Walmart, hey, this was deleted. Um they may have add, had to add it back in in order to get it, the inventory back on the shelves, um, but did not complete the last task, which was to re-delete it, which, to put it back on the clearance. And sometimes you can ask them that, especially if you know processes. If you understand the process of how stuff is sold in the store, stores, it's to your advantage to use that in your conversation with the manager. But you also got to remember... When you start talking about retail stores, and this is going to sound mean, but it's true in my area. You know, you the people that mark stuff down on clearance, they're going off what their manager told them to do, and then they're told to go clean out the back corner of their department in the back or the back of a warehouse where they have a, a shipping container sitting out back. I, the woman I talk to locally here is hor I mean, she's a nice person, don't get me wrong, but she's not very smart on wanting to move stuff and they're not motivated to do that. So you have people making, you know, barely minimum wage at Walmart, uh, go, so being told by their boss, go find something in the back and clean out that corner, and they don't look to see what the prices are. They they print the label off the barcode. I used to work at Walmart you know, years ago, and I can tell you, you know, how it was done. Yeah, I never saw it, and when I was working there, where, you, you know, you put something down to $9 from $29, and then emptied the shelf, and then put it right back on there for $29 after the clearance. I've never seen that, but most of those folks aren't motivated to even look into checking prices and clearancing and stuff. I've just noticed it here in my area. It's, you ask them a question, and basically I was told the other day, I don't know, are y'all going to get rid of this? Or is this going to be changed out on the planogram? I don't know, and just walk off from it. I mean, that's how motivated they are to get stuff out of their store. Yeah, and my favorite is you have a lot of it on the shelf, but they haven't put clearance prices on it, but it's already clearance price if you scan it. So those are the best finds right there. Yeah, I don't have yeah. that. Those are the stores that are too busy. Are too lazy. Well, see, mine yeah. took off all the toys off all the end caps this week and put household stuff for dorms and apartments for the college kids coming back because they moved in Saturday. And uh, so all the... The stuff that was on the end caps, all the new merchandise, it was removed from the toy section altogether. Couldn't find it anywhere, uh, and it, that that just ticks me off. I'm not talking about clearance. I'm not. This is like new items they have out. 
Mm. So that, that sounds like an opportunity to me. That sounds like a definite, genuine opportunity for you to be, you know, approach the manager of the toy section and you know right. discuss their problem and how you can help them. There, there are cute is the problem. So. Yeah, you gotta hit up the manager. I'm thinking that. Oh, I have. Baby. They still got my store. I know still has the the boxes that came in after Easter. Remember the ones that everybody was waiting for them to go down to ten bucks like they were before. The uh, mm -hmm. yellow boxes. One oh seven oh two. Yeah, the ones that were never on inventory. You know, they were shipped to each store as obsolete, deleted items. And that yeah, they were the, they were the Easter special that never got told to the stores that they were for yeah. Easter. Special. Well, mine just said, well, we're gonna put them in the back until they come back in stock next year. That's what they said. And mine are still sitting back there. I asked the lady the other day. She said, oh no, we hadn't brought them out because they're still obsolete. I was like, well, what does that mean? What are y'all gonna do? Well, they're just going to sit back there until somebody tells us what we can do with them. I was like, crap, that's been since May. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. I, no, no, I, wish, I, wish, I wish the shipping containers weren't so cheap. You know, They're a perfect solution for Walmarts across the country when they don't know what to do with something. Uh, just throw it in a shipping container. And, yeah, but how, how do they do a proper inventory? Coming in when you got a shipping container in the back. Does Regis go out into that shipping container and do inventory? No, man. I think it's like it's like that Lost Ark shit. Yeah. You know, that's how I found all those Series 10 minifigs uh, when Series, what, 12 or 13 was out, or Series 12 was out. You know, they told me that they went to a shipping container and emptied out of the back corner of it and just found all those Series 10. Yeah. That's the only good thing. It's like a time vault. If, if, if we knew where the worst managers in Walmart worked, it would be to everyone's advantage because we could just go there and help Walmart. <laughs> because, you know, those are the ones uh, that we've heard are the ones that are, you know, just storing stuff in the back in the shipping containers that aren't doing the proper clearances on the shelves, you know, that basically aren't following the, uh, the rule book that they have. Yeah. Well, have you been... Uh, I'm really reading the comments here. Uh, Bot, have you been to any of the targets lately to see if any more markdowns have gone past 30%? No, they, they haven't. They did a reset on the 29th, and I thought they would be doing 50%, but they have not gone down again. But, uh, again, the problem in my area is soccer moms. They think 30% is a great deal, and they will clear the shelves off of that. So. But it's mostly been Ninjago, anyway, and Scooby-Doo, you know? Yeah. But, that, you know... I don't, I don't need either one of those right now, so... Hey, I... I, I got stuck with, uh, well, not stuck with, but I got a great deal on 12 of those uh, it's okay if uh, that man touches you were at the airport, Johnny, sets. <laughs> those are sitting right up here, man. I'm going to have some giant uh, medium azure wings pieces, but nine bucks it was a great deal. Mm -hmm. Um I told a couple of the, the dudes in my area, and they were able to get them for 11 after I told them to actually look at the inventory. He was like, oh, that is good. People see uh, that People see that lavender or that medium azure on a big piece, and all they think uh, of is, I'm going to get stuck with that big piece for forever and don't think about the fact that there's aircraft glass, aircraft windows, you know, and it's all white and gray pieces besides... A couple chunks of pink and azure. So, did you record a haul uh, from your Lego store visit today? Because I'm seeing a bunch of the London buses sitting behind you right now. You got three of them. Yeah, I got. Well, I got four, but I got three for sale. Did you get a bunch of stuff today? I guess to get four of them. Yeah, I get. Uh, I did a personal thing. I didn't do any haul and videos of it. Um, I picked up. Uh, Old timey Batman mansion. Um, so you picked up the new VW Bug. Excuse me. Got the camper set. Picked up uh, two Spider Man sets: the bridge one and the one with Doc Ock. And that one's pretty big. Picked up uh, also Big Ben. Yeah. So it was uh, today's A Fall days. If uh, anybody does not know, so today's the day, go and get your lug affiliated purchase. So I went there and did my thing, but it was I try to keep the separate. So, what did they just? It was just two times VIP points. What you said? 
Uh, 15% off plus the two-time VIP, the 2x VIP. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I try to keep it legit and just for me. So I don't involve the store in that. Yeah. That's cool. I was wondering, I, just, I never saw anything posted because I might have missed it on Instagram with stupid timeline and all that stuff. But. Well, it's one of those reasons why you want to be affiliated with a lug if you... Uh, you know, if you build as well as sell, because you can get in on those deals as long as you don't, as long as you don't abuse the system, it's it's there for you to use, you know, for your pleasure. Cool. Do they have that over in uh, the West Coast today, or the East Coast today too? But I know you get that newsletter for your from your log. Yeah, we have Brick Fair Virginia going on. So. Oh, so you're already pick clean no matter what. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, the store was, pa I went to the Lego store down south, well, 15 minutes south as opposed to 15 minutes west today. Uh, 15 minutes one way. <laughs> and another one's coming September 1st, thank you very much. But, uh, yeah, it was it was packed. There was, there was a guy probably buying a couple thousand dollars worth of sets, and they wouldn't let him do multiple purchases. Uh, you can spend a couple thousand dollars in my store. I'll let you ring it up any way you want to. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was, well, you know, they should have been able to get multiple buses. I mean, the guy, the first thing the guy pulled off. They should have just brought out a box. If ten thousand dollars worth, they should have just brought out a box of buses and just said, <laughs> "Thank you." Let me roll this to your car. Yeah, yeah. Like, do you need help getting this out? Like, you know, we will call the mall security. I mean, yeah, this was bigger than a bricks for Chris call. These guys were buying, so I don't know if they, they were part of part of Brick Mass because there was a lot of Brick. I, I saw the Angry Dragon there; he was there. So um, I'm willing to I'm willing to bet it's one of the, the uh, toy companies. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Hey, yeah, that, uh, yeah, just so Brick Life wants to know if you think these lug deals are in Canada too, or are they just U.S. type deals? I don't know anything about Canada. Besides, you guys just like super friendly. <laughs> Don't you know? Robert Burns, are you in Hong Kong? I'm just wondering, you said you found a mall in Hong Kong, or is this on your travels? It wasn't called Alibaba Mall, was it? <laughs> I'd be interested to, to actually, uh, if it is, oh, he said no in Atlanta. Um, to put them up against uh, ones that were sealed from here and see what the differences are, because they are getting made in China. So. Oh, when he was traveling there. Yeah, yeah. But yes. people may not realize that, but uh, your CMF series is all manufactured in China. So. Which is pretty funny when you sell stuff on BrickLink because some of it goes back to China. Robert, you said it's four floors of Lego. Is it like an independent store, or it went like the? It wasn't like a Lego Japanese franchise of the Lego store. It was like an independent store. Four floors of Lego. That's a lot of Lego. Hello, our toy world. Yeah. Or if you want to, uh, Robert, you can just send me the information. Uh, just shoot me an email, and I'll disseminate it. And we'd love to check it out, though. If you have pictures or video of it, uh, of course, get a hold of us, and maybe we can discuss it on for a future show. Just staggers, staggers. My Walmart has a bunch of those brick boxes still, and I went there this morning, took it up to the scanner, and still scans at thirty bucks. Man, it's killing me. Which one? Uh, the the one hundred seven hundred two, the brick box. Yeah, mine. They don't even bring them out, but. Well, these are on I the very. I haven't even searched. I'm I'm done with that box. Well, they brought them out that time, and I talked to the manager, and she said, "Oh, these are obsolete. I got to take them off." And they right in front of me, they went and got a buggy and filled up the whole buggy and took them off the shelf. What's the, What's the difference between obsolete and deleted? I don't know. Probably the same thing. Probably a different terminology. Well, well no, it might actually mean like uh, you know, send back to or no, that means uh, put on clearance. Sell it whatever you put it at. I mean, from what I understand, if it's it's deleted and it's not on their planogram, it's still gonna have a cost associated with it. So I don't know how they do on their. It goes against their clearance. You know, like Mr. Bone said. They only get clearance, so much clearance per quarter. Uh, and that's what she told me. 
they couldn't mark it down because they couldn't change the price on it because if they enter it in the system and try to sell it now below the suggested price, it goes in as a clearance dollar the difference. Yeah, Bubba, t Bubba told me that Walmart's most, most of the clearance is towards close, so a deleted item will get stuck with a red tag at its last price and stuck in the clearance section to make you think that, you know, because my Walmart has some Chima like that with red stickers on it for eighty nine ninety nine, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got the uh, that one store out that doesn't mark down anything. It's got two of those flying Phoenix or the Phoenix red ones for about eighty nine bucks. Yeah. Love that marketing. Hello, burning bricks. Got some new folks joining in. was not able to pick up any more clearing stuff at my local Fred Myers. I was oh, saying Myers has got some good deals this week if you can find it. I'd like to have a Myers now. But uh, for I've heard a lot of people have been talking about um, Five Below this week having some dimension sets. The uh, Hobbit or Lord of the Rings dimension sets for like five bucks. That would be a definite buy right there. Well, they've got they've got a uh, only two. Jago, they've got Benny. They've got a Lord of the Ring, and I'm trying to think of the the fourth one. They they carry four of them for five bucks. Wow, that's great. Those are good figs there. Um, and who would have ever thought that the uh, you know the Lego um, Killing Benny Price. <laughs> the, the, um, the couch, double decker couch, be going for 30 bucks now. You know, I hadn't part of those out yet. I got a stack of them up there, too. I got 30 bucks, brother. 30 bucks and I'm a rise. I got 33 of them behind me. I parted all mine out. I just, so, I just sold 10 uh, Raptor Escapes on eBay, so that were, you know, damaged boxes and stuff. So nice. I, I blew those out, so. You got one in Philly. Did you guys build it yet? You and the kids build it yet? Which is that? The Raptor Escape. No, Mama says not until we move. Ah. Mama's got a lot of Lego-related rules right now, but that's why I, I snuck out and bought Lego today. <laughs> Honey, it's for the store. <laughs> no, no, they're um, they're out of town until Tuesday night. Oh, okay. I wasn't able to take off from the, the real jobby job this week. Uh, do you still go there? Yeah, I was yeah, yeah. every day. Yeah, I got, I mean, I know, I've been, been looking at your store uploads, and it's been a lot of uploads lately. And <laughs> Yeah, I've been killing it on the weekends. Um, what in the weekend? I did <laughs> all of those. All, um, all of those, uh, what are they, the Nexo Knights little Ultima packs. Close to 150 of them uh, this week. And did you buy the Harley Quinn set? Did you find them on a deal? Or I noticed you had like 21 or 20 Harley Quinns uploaded. Yeah, that was uh, that Harley Quinn cycle set was on sale at Target a couple weeks ago for like I think I'm probably thing on sale around 16 there. bucks online. It was available online, brother. Um, and then with the red card thing. And you know all the other uh, deals that they had as well because they also had an existing deal where if you spent forty dollars on city or superhero sets, um, you got something else for free. Hmm. So it was okay. like one of those combo deal things. I was wondering because I've been checking, watching it at Walmart, and I just said, "Crap, it in. I know it's a new set. I'm not expecting it to go on clearance or anything, but. No, it was like sixteen bucks plus the the take off for this and take off for that. So yeah. Uh, Robert said he emailed you a link. So yeah, I'm gonna check it out in a bit. H two vlog is here. If you would take this time, to please give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you have not subscribed to any of the three dudes here in the channel, and if you wish to go ahead and do that, we'd appreciate it. 
I don't think you can post a link in there. I think they filter it out, if I'm not mistaken, Robert. Yeah, you can do links. Um, but did you open up your Brick Owl store yet? No, I haven't done anything yet. Uh, you need to do that. You need to do that. You can enjoy us talking about it. Cause, well, uh, well, let me ask you uh, a question. Since this is Seller Stream. How many orders are you seeing off of Brick Owl as compared to Brick Link right now? It's... It's a fair amount. It's a fair amount. It's worth the time and effort to do it. It's worth the money to invest in the software that allows the syncing. You know? If you got a computer that's just sitting in a room running all day, it's not a bad deal. Right. Have you got... Had, well, since Jackass has been running, have you ever sold the same item at the same time? I mean, that, that's my Not fear. at the same time. I have had it to where I sold the item on Brick Isle and somehow or another it didn't sink or I don't know what happened or we pulled it and I don't know. I'll be honest with you. I don't know how it did it. I have sold stuff on one side to go to pull it when it was on a BrickLink order and it not be there. Uh, I don't know how I missed it, to be honest with you, but it's it's only, only happened a handful of times um, in the three years I've been selling. But... But I've never. I know that one day, the software is pretty instantaneous now. But back in the day when I was manually <laughs> adjusting these, and it was hard. I get home at night after pulling orders, and then have to sit down and you know manually sync all that crap out. You know, at that time I was always worried about it, something happening because it was like an eight to ten hour difference between when something sold and that I, I manually synced it. But it had to be pretty inst instantaneous for it to happen. I mean, it sort of had to click that submit button just like that at the same time and it's the odds of that happening now with syncing software is very 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 short very less likely I will tell you that though that I, like I said I some lots somehow or another I've noticed that would get uploaded they don't sync together like the lot ID numbers don't match up when they go to sync like I said I'm only about four or five times that's happened so I can't complain too much about it but I have had that happen before and I've had to dig down to my pile or one time I had Big B Shit, or maybe you, somebody, well, I don't even did it once for me. You might have to shipped out some parts for me to a customer, but I, I, I do. I had to do a technic. I did. I had to do a help, a technic helping hand one time, but yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. I had to do some, some Spider-Man string, some real yeah, yeah, Spider-Man string. You know what I found out on that Spider-Man string? I started looking at some of the sets I've been parting out. Every Spider-Man set I've ever parted out says I get two of those Spider-Man sets in Brick Link and Brick uh, Store. But then you actually look at it, it's only one in the set. So that's why I was I was coming up short like, yeah, only one. <laughs> that's my tip of the day. If you ever part out anything to do with Spider-Man, you have to go in there and manually put in one per set. Because like, I, mean, I was part out 10, 15 of these sets. I would just assume that they were all there. I didn't count them out, you know. It is a lump of string with a bunch of plastic attached to it. Yeah. And it looks like, you know. It's not an easy thing to count. No, I understand. It's a of time. I don't blame you. Did you fix the file, though? Oh, yeah. All right. Good man, good man. So, uh, as far as my sync software, uh, the only problem that I have found so far is I uploaded all those ultimate uh, Nexonite sets, and there's one of the shields that isn't on Brick Owl yet, um, but it's trying to be. So when I go through and run the BL uh, master on, BL master off to go do a quick refresh on it, like I've uploaded some parts recently, because um, mine's on trigger. I have to tell it when to go. It doesn't automatically do it like yours. Um, but that, that works well with me. I mean, every time I just do an upload, I just do, you know, dun, 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 run the commands, and it just does it. And it's been good so far. Um, one tip I might have for potential or future future brick owl sellers would be um, if you are selling both parts and sealed sets, make sure that you uh, check force checkout or force quote on your uh, on your sets and on your base plates and anything that's just super clunky that's going to require different packaging. Um, because the auto checkout, basically everybody auto checkouts there. I've never had anybody who has an auto checkout within less than five minutes. 
Yeah. H2 Vlogs, there's three dislikes because there are things on the internet called trolls. Or people that really don't like us, so I don't know. But yeah. anyway, I like to call them trolls. We don't really pay that much attention to it. Actually, it is as good if you rate it good or bad because YouTube's eyes, it's interaction. So it doesn't. YouTube doesn't look and say, oh, there's three negatives. Let's punish them. They, let, they oh, there's three people interacting, so we're going to pay attention to this. So. Uh, Howie says he sets uh, BL Master to on before he does the upload, which is actually what's recommended. Um, I'm still a noob. So I forget, and I do do a few trays or do a few sets, and then I'm like, oh, I gotta do that. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of nervous. I'm kind of nervous that I'll forget to hit BL off or BL Master off um, after I've done the upload. So I'm sort of I do it afterwards. Somebody Stuff asked doesn't sell that. Stuff doesn't sell that fast, man. Question. I can't remember what Robert, or was it Robert? Somebody asked a question earlier, and I can't remember what it was. I said we'd come back to it. What did I say it was? Something about a sad he bought, should I sit on, or something like that. Uh, let's see. Our Tory World says, Yo, Big B Bricks, how do you get the Big B splat? Uh, that's sort of like my trademark element that I put in the orders for uh, fellow YouTubers. So they can use it as a building challenge element and use it in their uh, photography and stuff like that since it's unique. And so the answer yeah. is put an order in my store. Had a horse fly bite me. I got it. Robert's Lego or Robert Burns says, uh, do you sit on Simpsons? <laughs> I don't know, man. There's a market for it. There's a market for it. And you know there is. The more, you know, sellers dislike it a lot because... Um, there's a niche market for it, and because part out wise, it's a f you're losing one out of four elements in the body, um, one out of three actually because they can't wear hats, and you're stuck with a torso and legs. But I'm gonna counter that and say it's interesting, interesting torso and usually uh, part outable arms if you go that route. If you go to the venture into the the ripping and stripping, which a lot of people don't. There's a lot of purists that don't even take a, a CMF apart. Like this guy here is pretty pretty much a purist. Talk about you, Bot. Uh, I've done full Monty. I've been starting to do some full Montys. On CMFs, though? CMFs are, are yeah, are mini figures that come in some of the other sets, you know. Okay, okay, okay. The reason I'm, I, I do stuff, I've gone full Monty on a lot of them lately, but the... Uh, and, you know, I'll look at it like that, though. If they come from a set and they're generally under $3, I'll consider parting them out, you know. Uh, but if it's a sealed set, theme set, that has a fig in it that's worth six, five, six, seven, eight bucks, I'll just sell it. Oh, it you, you're, you saw that dog from the, uh, this CMF from the, the trainer or whatever, the trophy. Did you sell any of the trophies or any of that stuff? I, I, I sold all the dogs. At $3? $3 a pop. Man, you are such a giving person. There was just you and one other person on Brickling selling the damn thing. Uh, this is the first time in my three years that I was the first seller to sell parts of CMS. The imp tails are sold out in the store, sold <laughs> ninety nine each. Um, How much? Two ninety nine each. Okay. And then the helmets, I think, were a dollar ninety nine each, and I think I have one left. Um. I'm trying to think what else I sold. I sold one backpack today from the hiker, one compass today from the hiker. So two each of the printed tile maps that one came with a pirate, one came with a hiker. Oh, it was a hiker? I think it was a hiker. Yes. yes. Um, all the dogs are gone. I sold something else. Sold a part of one of those. Oh, yeah, all the wings are gone. I think, oh, no, I have one wing left. I can't remember, to be honest with you, from the, from the imp, the pimp, the imp. So definitely it's a good... That's a good. That's a good fig. Yeah, it's, it's entirety. I mean, it's. I like that fig itself. I think I sold one head from the imp today too. Is, is, that, is that the same wing mold as the gargoyle from last yeah, year? Yeah, it's just different red. Yes, red, pretty light bluish gray. So on the topic of C, on the topic of CMFs, but how do you feel about the hot dog man being destroyed by a friend set? That was horrible. Oh. That was horrible. Man, they did that on purpose. That you look at that when they re-released the chicken suit guy, and now they've done the hot dog suit guy. 
somebody has got a motive to kill the secondary market on these awesome figs. Hashtag like a conspiracy theory it is. guy. No, 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 go, go, go. This is your spot. This is your spot, man. I'm ranting. I mean, I'm sitting on 20-something of those chicken suit guys from Toys R Us at the Easter promo. Um, you know, and unless they come out with another Bumblebee or something like that, but you know, let's watch and see if the shark suit guy comes out again or the banana suit guy. But these these ones that everybody used to hoard, they're only three per pack for per box. You know, they're now there's five per box. Well, the penguin boy is only three, so it's more for you. It's more for you to sit on and then get tanked when they throw it into a friend set. Exactly. I can't believe they threw the hot dog guy into a friend set. That, you you, you had no, the exact same rant when Hot Dog Guy came, or no, maybe it was Bot that had this rant when the Hot Dog Guy came out as a keychain. No, let me tell you something. They, they, it's a mini doll with the hot dog thing, so it's not the Hot Dog Guy. It's still got a mini doll underneath it. You can shove any mini figure up there that you want, as far as kids are concerned, man. They just want the suit. Yeah. Well, has the bee has the bee dropped because of the keychain? Has the bumblebee? No. Nope. nope. So, that hasn't affected any of that. No, because there's a hole in the middle of the head. But it's a big old hot dog, man. You could just, it's one piece. You can just, like, if it was on a keychain, you could maybe burn your finger and smear it over if you were a kid. Yeah. Um, not that I suggest that, children. Um, well, like but, I said, in the very beginning, the unicorn girl is going to be more rare than that hot dog guy. Yeah. Because the people the were bumblebee looking. would be harder to do because it's the different plastic. It's the soft plastic. So, I mean, it'll, yeah. it'll catch on fire when you, when you put it. A lighter to it, <laughs> right? Everybody, everybody was, everybody was passing on the unicorn girl, looking for the hot dog guys. Oh Just no! Like, I told you in the get go, man, get the unicorn. I told you a couple other figs to go after too. Oh yeah, look, this goes look, what, I, look what I did to that one. I have destroyed that fig. <laughs> I think I parted out over two hundred of her. Mm -mm -mm. Just for one part. See, it's it's just, well, it's like I've been buying the the grandma torso from the the minifig from the fig build station. You know, they got the cat with her, they got the torso, and they got her head. But of course, her hair is the most expensive element in that whole damn minifig, and we're gonna yeah. probably see that in the next couple of months show up in a build station. I hope so. I hope so. Yeah, you watch. That'll be good. And I and I buy it's well it's just like uh, the librarian's head. I mean that's loaded in those things. Not no. mine, man. Do what? I was I was able to find uh, a few of them today. I'm actually gonna start using those um, for my mother, for her sig fig. She uh -huh. might be uh, coming to stay with us, so she's gonna need a sig fig, and that's a good head for her. Who's coming to stay, who's coming to stay with you? My ma. Oh, you're a mom? Yeah. Is she going to make the move with you? Uh, she's going to have to. I mean, she's, she's moving in, but she's not going to... No, 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 she won't be. She, we haven't even posed it with her yet, to be honest with you. We just know that it's got to happen because of the stuff that's going on with her health. Now, is she living in Washington currently? No, she's down in Florida, man. Oh. Oh, big world difference there from one part of the country to the next. Oh yeah, like we would we would not maybe broaching this and making it happen until we were transplanted to wherever we're going to be transplanted on the east coast. What part of Florida? Is the coast. Yeah, he'll tell you all first. Okay. Yeah. We might have some grandma stalkers or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, let's go back to that destruction of the hot dog guy in a set too <laughs> that people are going to go buy up. Yeah, that's fine. You know, I mentioned this because how many how many hot dog guys are you sitting on? Uh, let me check. Let me check my inventory. <laughs> do, do, do. I don't know. I mean, I have one. Sure, but it's a friend's doll underneath it. It's not the same. Yeah, it is. <laughs> nah, it's not. You may end up. Finding out that it's cheaper to rip and strip the hot dog guy now than sell him. Well, here's the thing, okay? Because if I am correct, he's got a plain torso, right? You, yeah, it's just plain. 
from yeah, you have you have people leaving the hobby and you've got new people coming into the hobby and they're gonna want to collect their anal, their O C D or whatever. They're gonna want that original yeah. fit. I agree with you on that one now. But that's not that big of a percentage, man. <laughs> Do a hot dog guy giveaway for the stream. That's you are harshing my mellow, my friend. Now shut the hell up. <laughs> uh, I just pressed a couple buttons. No, I totally agree with you because there are people that go for the there 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 will be people as well that will go for a a complete set of hot dog guy instead of the minifig. Uh, um, you you will sell hot dog guys internationally. Like oh yeah, yeah, big time. That's All right, so sold on that. that. I've I've sold like fifty hot dog guys to some place in Asia like the first or second week that they were out and I was just like, Alright, I'm good, I'm done. Okay, let's see. Where the hell is it? It is huh. Yeah, right there. Robert Burns points out I knew I remembered this one, but I just remember what color. It's got a tan torso. So it's got a plain tan torso. No, it's not a I'm going to just say it right here. Like, the monochrome market is real. So. Yeah, you got like a thousand unicorns too, don't you? Yeah, I'm looking in my inventory, but I don't see any of my stock room yeah. stuff. Plain tan torso. Let's see if I can get my camera even focus in on it. I'm not going to cooperate. But anyway, that's him. But I'm like you. I mean, it's not telling what this piece is going to fall down to. It's right for us, but... Oh, it's going to dump. But he's got a unique. I think that's a unique head on this on this one, I believe. I'm telling you, man. You might want to investigate the ripping and stripping market, especially on with the monochrome. Monochrome figs are real. I saw my last uh, Stay Puff guy today. I said he he went he went to Australia. I <laughs> believe He was a good little eleven dollar sale. My stock room is not showing. What the hell? You deleted it all yesterday. I remember you thought. Yeah, it must have been. No, I did not. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I'm sitting on a bunch of a uh, bunch of both of those. Now, I have are you sitting on anything from Series 15? Either of you guys? No, my stuff. The only thing I'm sitting on is I've got some of the tiger chick over here. And yeah. That's it. Okay, I am sitting on 175 hot dog guys. Yeah, and, tiger chick. That's all I've got. And I am sitting on uh, a couple of piggies. Let's see. Come on, unicorn. Where the hell are you? Yeah, you're definitely in the mini fig master. I, I'm sitting on 175 of unicorn also. 175 of what? Yeah, the unicorn girl. Good lord. Yep. Now that actually is, that's another fig there that if you look at it taken apart. She would be good in elves. Yeah, they're going to put her in elves. She's going to come and be in the next elves run. Watch. You guys can bite me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just hope they do redo that. Part of the Chima rebirth. She go rebirth with the unicorn clan. No, no, no. They're gonna redo the Deadpool, and Staggers is just gonna have to go up and get all his shit that got stuck in boxes and just part it out all of a sudden. All so yeah, sp speaking on that. So that that right there, you didn't say that, but that is the set that you just happened to have. Sit, you were sitting on that appreciated far more than parting out would be for it. Oh, a Wolverine. Yeah, your Wolverine Deadpool sets. You know, I was watching some of Clutch's old uh, Clutch Factor Plus videos when I was parting out yesterday, and uh, I got to the one where he parted out like three copies of the Wolverine and Deadpool set, and he was talking about how cheap he was selling Deadpool was like five dollars, Magneto was like five dollars, and Wolverine was five dollars. There, you make all your money back in these three figures. You know, you look back in time for three years ago, and you say, God, if he'd only held on to those figs, you know. But, uh, right, so the current example of that that just happened is uh, Ant-Man. Yeah, there's somebody. It's a $15 set originally, sealed right now, 80 bucks. I've got 11 of them. Yeah. <laughs> and why are you not listing them? 
this is this is hot because of the movie, man. You got to get those out and sell them. Well, I didn't sell them. I didn't sell mine from the Deadpool. Here, here's what I've always heard about Deadpool. Deadpool is the least produced mini figure. I mean, action figure in any toy line. He's the most loved and desired uh, character, but they don't produce a lot of anything around him, even with the movie. Now, with Ant Man, I'm sure there'll be another Ant Man two movie come out. That set was actually short run, I believe, because I only saw it in my stores one time. I found one set, and uh, I could have ordered more online, but I was stupid thinking that it would go on sale, and I didn't. But uh, nope, I missed it too. Yeah, you know, there's two, there's two versions of that set. Yeah, they got the ant or the parts that didn't build, didn't hold on right. The wings, what was it, the wing assemblies or something like that? Yeah, they, they added a couple more friction pins. Yeah, something like yeah. that. But anyway, I, I still know. I don't know that I ever set the Deadpool set, and uh, you know, it's like. But I still think Ant Man that set, and it's probably worth. What's it selling for now? What's it selling for right now? Forty bucks. And it's relatively young, so I, I would still sit on it for a while longer. I think I would. That's my opinion. Yeah. Now, what about any of these, uh, well, there's so many different variations of Iron Man, but like Iron Man versus Ultron that everybody's getting for five bucks. And The smaller set you get out of that is $20 probably, if that. I would say you'd probably see that in two years, so about $18, $19, $20. Uh, you know, the, the, the big ones like the Hulk monster one, um, some of the bigger sets that have more action figures in it, or minifigures in it. You'll get better returns out of it. The small sets are hard. I mean, you look at some of your Star Wars sets, the battle packs from four or five years ago. You know, the, you can get any of those right now on eBay or Bricklink for around twenty dollars. Uh, those small sets just don't appreciate much more than that. Yeah, it's uh, and it's hard to figure out what's going to be worth anything when so many of them are made. You know, these days. Yeah, and nobody nobody thought that that would happen with Ant Man. I mean, come on, it's Ant Man. Yeah. Deadpool, Deadpool, I can see it coming. Like, if I was not in my dark age at that point, I would have bought the crap out of that Deadpool set, whether it was on sale or not. Yeah. You know, Deadpool. So, what what are you doing with the, like, the airport battle set? Are you doing anything with that? I'll port it out eventually. Uh, it's in my massive pile at the house in front of the refrigerator, so I'll have to move it eventually to my wife and get mad at me. But the, uh, I'll, take that big, I'll take that big Ant-Man from you. Yeah, well, I mean, when I get to part them out, I'll let you know. But uh, I don't know how that will do. I mean, I paid good money. I, mean, I got a good deal on it, so the the, the buy-in on it was very, very good. But like I said, it's got it's got some good figs in it. I don't I've know, seen box, people on uh, Bricklink selling that one by the bag. Yeah, my my box one of my boxes was pretty damaged, so I will take bag three, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Now, it's goofy because for two years in a row, Walmart has taken the Avenger, Avengers Tower and clearanced it down to like 45 and some places cheaper, and then turned around and jacked it back up to 60 bucks. So. Yeah, it makes no sense. Is, Sorry, that, is that set ever going to be worth holding, you know? I think they'll do another Avengers Tower, just like, you know. Well, yeah, they're going to do fucking another Death Star. I mean... Star yeah. Wars, you pretty much figure you're going to see the same ship every three to five years. Well, Avengers Towers gets damaged in pretty much every movie, so it's going to have to be in the story. You can update it. Yeah. Parting out train sets. Uh, yeah, if you find them on sale. Robert is asking to part out train sets. And yeah. Only on, I wouldn't do it on cargos. I might do it on passengers. You know, if I can find it on sale, I, I parted out about six of the cargo train, the blue cargo train, and uh, I don't know, a couple of retailers got into a little bit more there for a while with them, and he got down decent priced. And uh, it's hard with the train sets because they don't immediately come out; they're not usually not worth two times the, the part out when you buy them, and you have to uh, you have to wait till they go on sale or you buy them and hold on to them. That's another long term hold. Uh, if you can get them without being damaged. Train folks on eBay really want the boxes to be in good shape. That's the deal I've, I've always heard. And it's hard to ship something that heavy. 
Yeah, that's why that I, don't how, I don't understand how people do Amazon because people are looking for mint condition when they order something on Amazon. Well, Amazon getting stupid, putting labels on the outside of boxes and just shipping them like Walmart. That's really ticking off some things. Unless it's a UCS TIE fighter for 48 bucks. <laughs> Did anybody get it? Did anybody get it? No, we don't yeah. want to talk about it right now. Don't even bring it up. Yes, people got it. They Nothing. did. Yes. I can tell you two people right now. We both know them. Well, I don't put it on Instagram. Both of them. Well, no, did, I'm hoping, I'm, I'm actually hoping that a couple people got them. Like, I hope Clutch got his. I hope that uh, Mad, Mad Stacker, Stacker got Clutch. his. I know that they tried to. Yeah, Mad Stackers and Clutch. Good both for them. Them. Good for them. So. We got our Captain Rex ATTE for half off, so I mean. You got a sand crawler too, right? I had a sand crawler before. I didn't I didn't no. do anything stupid like that. Okay. Hey, did you uh did you get my package doc? Crap. Yeah, hold on. Where is it? <laughs> I see where I put it. Hold on. Give me a minute. It's here somewhere. I promise. Sort of. I know I brought it inside. I don't think it's the uh, So, for, uh, for those that don't know, uh, last week, a couple weeks ago, Doc was talking about how his, uh, his little girls snuck into the store and snagged a bunch of uh, friends' animals. Um, so, I've I sent him so. Sent him to the Brick Stracker twins. When he was talking about his stuff not sticking up and he didn't know how stuff disappeared, I was about to say his yeah. girl. <laughs> <laughs> those two little those two little ninjas you got, man. <laughs> there uh hold on man, let me see if I can get my son to find it real quick. Uh put Bryce in the work. Those two little ninjas were in there again. <laughs> They they totally shattered their employability for a little while. Well, at least they didn't try to hide it. <laughs> no, no, that's good. That's good though. Uh, yeah. My kids actually helped me part out um, some of the Bionicle this week. So, and that's one we can touch on too, as far as the holding. Now that you're getting it on clearance, versus parting it out, because um, they walk clearance or they're, they're cakewalk part outs. I mean, they're just giant. Technic and Hero Factory Bionicle pieces, and a couple good Technic bricks. Um, but even though it's an internal to Lego theme, it's got a long-lasting theme with a cartoon line and incredibly dedicated followers. But since they've officially announced the death of Bionicle, um, will it? attract new people or when people come back from their dark age that were Bionicle people, will they be looking to complete the sets? Uh, Doc, thoughts? Got the package. Oh, all right. I was ignoring you. I don't know what you were saying because I was out there getting the package. All right, you want me to look at that? Hold up. What do you think, Brick or Treat? What's your opinion on that? Uh, I I have taken my bionicle that I got on sale for two fifty to five bucks, and I'm going to donate them to the hospital, the kids at the hospital. I think. Oh, that's so sweet. Aww. Aww. So, uh, for those that don't know, that that's something that you know a couple few of us do. So, bots the instigator on that one. Yeah. But you want to cover that? You want to talk about that real quick? Well, sure. Uh, well, both my kids work at uh, hospitals, and there's a. Uh, you know, big kids ward and all like that. So, as when I first started getting those uh, Venom sets for so cheap, I was actually donating a lot of those. You know, for kids that were in the hospital, able to just build a cheap set. So it, it's gone over pretty well. I mean, I haven't got to the point where I'm asking for donations or anything like that, or GoFundMe, or asking people to you know donate brick sets. But that's coming because I know Staggers are sitting on a bunch of stuff. So I actually, yeah, I mean. I always say that you need to get there and help others. Uh, and I'm not going to brag and tell you who they are or nothing, but, you know, toot my own horn type of deal. It's not the kind of person I am. But there's always somebody that's 
the Lego community in general has always been really good about sharing with kids that have cancer or they're in the hospital for a prolonged illness. And we kind of always say, hey, if you want, if you want to send something out, here they are. And I've sent it out on numerous times, and I've had two good friends by email. I mean, I'll never be able to see them probably face to face, but. Uh, the families are so appreciative when you do stuff like that and you send a kid a care package or around Christmas you send them a care package. It's great to do stuff like that. And I do a lot of that with these um, with these sets. And, they, and I'll just give them junk Lego. I mean, I'm not giving them Bionicle or Hero Factor that I wouldn't build myself. You know, I'm giving them, if it's a boy, I'm giving them licensed theme sets. And and I, I urge all of you that are out there selling to do something like that because it makes... A world of difference. You not shouldn't be doing it for any selfish reasons at all. Like you know, brick and treat saying, and I mean, it's just it's just one little small thing you can do for a kid. Because if they're in a bed, they can roll that tray up to their bed. They can, you know, as long as they got movement with their hands and their head, they can sit there and entertain themselves with the Lego in the hospital. It's a great, great thing to do for a kid. Thank you, my. Uh... My sponsorship of an orphanage every year and donate 100 pounds to an orphanage down in South America with a program that I do. And uh, we're actually going to start doing a lot more of uh, the bodishness, let's call it, of uh, doing the, the kids' cancer uh, hospitals. Because, like Doc was saying, the, uh, the smaller sets that we really clean up on, um, those are really great ones to donate because they're, they're workable in... The situation that the child is in. Yeah, so. yeah. I'm also looking. And you got to think about that. You got to think about that too. Yeah, I'm also looking to do homeless shelters now too. So, told you the battered women shelters uh, would be a really great idea too, because of the uh, the longevity um, on that. Where hopefully there's a lot of families that are able to utilize that, and you know that was the one thing with the orphanage that I thought um, would be helpful because it would be since Lego is such a long lasting product. Um, hopefully, it would be able to educate and entertain, you know, generations of kids. That's true. Yeah. All right, let me go ahead and open this because uh, I'm finna go. My wife just texted me. So this is a package I got from the bearded uh, brick, uh, Big B Bricks in front of us. Uh, oh, is it from Big B or the bearded brick? Let's. No, no, I mean, it's the bearded guy that's sitting in your camera right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, so let me open it real quick and let's see, because he's got on here for the Brick Stacker Twins. And uh, it did. It came in probably Tuesday or Wednesday. I wanted to open it then, but he told me I couldn't. That I had to wait till tonight. He's, he's already he's already felt up this pack so well, much, man. It, I see it, what you did, man. It's, it's, it's filing <laughs> charges with the local police department. All right. He knows exactly what's inside. Yeah, I know it's inside because last week I mentioned my two girls' uh, five finger discount and some toys out of here and uh, some Lego out of here. And uh, this is actually two of the poodles that they took four out of my store with. So he was replacing two of them. And I'm not going to sell them. They're going up to my girls, I promise. Uh, and I got two bunny rabbits. <laughs> those, those are the two bunny rabbits that aren't looking the right way as well. Well, that's fine. Yeah, I was going to wonder if the faces were all right on this. Wait. They're I, I, I sent them good misprints. I sent them good misprints. Why does this butt have an eyeball in it? I, <laughs> And then two puppies, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you, this is going to be their favorite ones right here. They love the little puppies. Uh, so they'll really appreciate that. And probably the best thing out of all of this are the splats. Of course, if I give this to my girl, they're not going to know what to do with them. But I'm going to go up there and give them to them. You know. They're going to throw them at each other. Throwing stars. Yeah, they'll be throwing them at the boys. Awesome. <laughs> I appreciate that. That we good, man. No, no. I wish I wish I knew earlier that they were into the friends animals, man. Um, they're in the friends. The joke, the, the joke that you guys might not be getting is, uh, like a year and a half, two years back, I got a slew of misprinted friends, uh, <laughs> animals, um, out of Asia, which I'm, that's why I'd not go back to Asia. Um, and uh, I just, you know, they're unsellable. Yeah. Um, because of the way that the printing is done on the face, but they're great for they're great for kids, and sure. you know, I like to give them away to kids. So. And we thank you. I do have to run though, so I'm gonna cut it out here. I've got to go uh, watch the kids. And stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna call it out, guys. Uh, everybody in the comments, I've been great keeping the comments going. Uh, appreciate it, and y'all give us a thumbs up and subscribe. See y'all later.
All right, we're going to actually close tonight, too, because we've done our hour. Um, Bot, you got any uh, final words there? Words of wisdom? Uh, no, I'm pretty much all used up. <laughs> Don't forget to check out Holland and Ballin every week, an hour and a half before we start uh, at 4 p.m. every Sunday. We, we follow them by a half an hour. Uh, Bot's on board with them, as is our occasional guest, uh, Brick Revolution. And uh, they'll also be on my other show uh, that is adults only um, called That Other Lego Show on, is it the 14th? Something like is that? It? No, no, it's the uh, the 12th. The 12th at uh, midnight Easter time. And uh, that's adult only, um, not selling related whatsoever. Possibly not even Lego related. Uh, but uh, actually the, the topic for that uh, was chosen by my co-host Zany Bricks, and the topic for that is going to be um, collecting versus hoarding. Oh, perfect. What's the difference? <laughs> oh, there's so much I want to say. Is there a difference? <laughs> I don't know. When you're talking about you're going to build a city, and now you're talking about... Okay, so that's going to be on that show. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And that's what the topic is. Basically, that's what Zany's hoping to trigger. Um, but anyways, uh, this will be the weekly thing. Like I said, following Holland and Ballin by a half an hour. Um, please submit comments to what you would like us to address in the following week. Uh, for the comments for this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, and you know, give that whole thumbs up business. And check everybody out who's on. Uh, the show. Uh, we all have Bricklink stores. We all have Brick Owl stores for the most part. Bot's going to get his arse in line uh, and, and fall in like a sheeple. So. Thank you, Drill Sergeant. May I have another? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't hurt that bad. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's my official opinion. It doesn't hurt that bad. Yeah. It's only sand. <laughs> Later, y'all.